Hey everybody, this is Burning Earth Chris. So I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update in regards to how the channel is doing and what I plan to do with this channel in the future. So the first thing I want to cover here is the status of the Knights of the Old Republic Let's Play series that I've been working on. Um, so I recorded all the footage that I would need for the Brotherhood of Shadow mod. Um, after that I do plan to return to Korriban to finish up the uh, final storm map quest and eventually the game itself. I didn't anticipate this LP series would be as long as it's been. <laughs> I will readily confess to that right now. <laughs> um, but I'm having a good time with it. This LP will probably go on for about a few more episodes, like say 20 or so. I w again, I wasn't expecting it to go on that long. So after that's done, I plan to start my next Let's Play series. It is not going to be the sequel Knights 2 because I kind of want to take a small break from Knights 1 after doing Knights 1 for so long. I kind of want to do something different uh, to, um, to keep things fresh. So I'm probably going to do one or two more games uh, before I dive into Knights 2. Uh, just so you all are aware of that. But it is in the pipe. Uh, I do plan to do it. It's just going to take some time for me to get to it. So, my plans for the summer are... I plan to stream a little bit more as well. At the end of last year, I, I did stream a lot of FTL and Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. I do plan to finish up Rebel Galaxy Outlaw uh, over the course of the summer. Um, I actually finished the campaign off-screen to... Um, excuse me, to get a bit of a feel of the game. And it, it, it is pretty fun. But I will stream it for the rest of you guys out there uh, who want to see me continue the game. So after I'm done with Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, I'm looking to do a, a marathon, as it were. I'm looking to do a marathon of FTL Faster Than Light episodes. Now, the challenge for me, uh, I set up a small challenge for myself. And, this ch and the challenge for me is to try to get all of the achievements within 100 episodes. So yes, there's going to be 100 episodes of FTL, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do either the Vanilla Game or Captain's Edition yet. I might just do Captain's Edition because it's so much more expansive, so much more fun. <laughs> and uh, after that, we're, I don't know yet. Uh, once I'm done with the 100 episodes of FTL, I'm not sure where we're going to go with that. But uh, I think that'll be pretty fun. Uh, 100 episodes to get all the achievements. I haven't decided what I'll do, whether I win or lose yet, though, but uh, I'll probably establish it in one of the live streams that I do. So, for my next LP series, what I'm going to be doing is a video game called Star Trek Invasion. Now, this is a PlayStation 1 video game, and uh, although it doesn't necessarily have a very Star Trek story, it was written by a Star Trek novelist, James Swallow. And um, it's an old PlayStation 1 video game. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like Wing Commander Saga in that it is a space fighter video game, and I do love space fighter video games. <laughs> um, Colony Wars was my favorite series growing up, but uh, anyway, uh, Star Trek Invasion is very similar in that regard, and uh, I think that's going to be a very fun LP. It has Patrick Stewart and Michael Dorn reprising their roles as uh, Captain Picard and Mr. Worf, respectively. So that's going to be fun, and I do look forward to getting into the game. Now, one thing I do want to mention before we uh, move on to the next thing here, I am actually currently in school studying, so um, uh, I'm not sure how many of you follow me on Facebook or anything like that, but I do. I did make an announcement that I was going back to school, and I also put, uh, put it up on the Patreon page as well, um, that I am back in school and I'm studying video game design for a project that I'm going to be mentioning in just a few moments. But um, once the summer rolls around, I'm hoping that I can resume my previous schedule of uploading two episodes of, of uh, Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic per week, rather than uh, just one, as I've been doing these past couple of months. Um, given the current uh, situation, work has been really, really hectic as of late, but uh, I'm hoping that I can change that within the next couple of weeks. So uh, do keep an eye out for that. I'm, ho I'm looking forward to bringing the schedule back up to par. So some of you might be asking me, why do you have a Patreon set up if all you do is video game work? Well, on my old channel, I was actually, I actually became kind of sort of a celebrity <laughs> when I made the USS Enterprise appear over my local Walmart uh, several years ago. Uh, it didn't really gain popularity until the past couple of years, which is, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, but that is now the most popular video I've ever created. 
I ended up making a sequel to it too, so uh, go check that out. Anyway. So the reason I made this channel and the Patreon is because I want to do more original productions. I want to do things that are inspired by Star Trek and Star Wars, but I don't want to necessarily keep doing fan projects on my life, which I've been doing for several years. So I have two big projects in the pipe right now. One is a high budget um, indie sci-fi film called Earthlink Origins. It's going to be all 3D animated, kind of like a Final Fantasy type movie. Um, there's a couple of clips on my old channel about that. I might or might not upload them to this new channel as well. I'm not quite sure yet. That'll depend on you guys, I guess, if you want me to or not. Um, but uh, they are they are around. Just to look up Earthlink Origins. Uh, so the second project I've been developing, and not a lot of people know about this, is called Sons of Centauri. It's a low, it's a much lower budget project, smaller in size and scope, and um, we're actually beginning voiceover work on that one. Uh, within a couple of weeks, so that's pretty exciting. Sons of Centauri is going to be what's called a visual novel, and um, it's it's kind. Of, if you don't know what a visual novel is, think of it as a telltale game, but on a much smaller, much simpler scale. If you've ever played Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, or Doki Doki Literature Club, those are visual novels essentially. Uh, and we're developing one that's a. Uh, a really cool sci-fi story, actually, and it's and it's it's actually based on true events that have happened uh, in the game Eve Online. Believe it or not, <laughs> I know that sounds a little weird, but bear with me. Uh, it's I I can assure you guys it's it's real. <laughs> so, with that said, I'll give you guys a small clip of what to expect from Sunset Centauri in this uh, uh, update as well. Pretty sweet, huh? That's that's why I had the Patreon set up so that we can fund these two larger projects. So, um, which ties into the final part of this video. So, uh, I do want to say thank you to our patrons who have been helping out these past couple of months. Um, Seth Wilson, Kelly Rhodes, and even though it was for a very short time, Hannah Wingle. Thank you guys so much for contributing to the Patreon. It really, really means a lot. Uh, your money is going towards building these projects and making them come to life. Uh, my LP videos, my Let's Play series, they will always be free. Uh, you do not have to worry about that um, changing anytime soon. And to all of you who are viewers out there watching the LP videos, commenting, liking, supporting, thank you. Uh, your viewership quite literally means the universe to me, so, and I really, really couldn't do this without you guys, so um, thank you. Alright guys, this will do it for this channel update, so thank you all for watching. If you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burningearthyfx, or consider buying us coffee at ko-fi.com slash burningearthyfx. Uh, it'll help support the channel, help support future videos like this one, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care everybody, I'm Burning Earth Chris, and stay the f***ing doors.